Your Bow Wow's paws smell like a mix of corn chips and cheese balls. And no, they haven't just raided the snack shelf. Give them a whiff. If you dare. It's actually quite common in dogs and is nothing to worry about. The source of this scent is both the bacteria on their skin and its fatty acids, which help keep the skin healthy. When these decompose, they release this peculiar odor, which can also be present in their ears. You can sniff those too. They do it to us all the time. If you've ever wondered how it feels to live in a palace with royals, check this scenario out. I hope you won't be too disappointed, though, because you're going to be on the staff. So walking through the center of any carpet isn't allowed. That's a royal privilege. The staff must be content with the sides. This is to preserve the carpet and to not leave any unnecessary footprints or crumbs. The field fair bird dive bombs their enemies with poop. The scientific name for this species family is, apropos, turdidae. You can't make this up. Sometimes their aim is so good, their targets literally get shot down with the poo. They don't do it just for fun. I'm sure some ill-tempered ones do. But this is how they protect their nests. So if you're considering burglarizing a field fair, be ready to get bombed with multiple loads of droppings. Speaking of birds, owl cubs, also called owlets, sleep face down in the horizontal position. Ah, just like me. That's because their heads are so heavy, they're not able to support them properly during infancy. If you love reading, but just don't have the time for it, try getting sent to a Brazilian prison. I assume it's either a prisoner's favorite activity there, or they get four days off their sentence for every book they read. You decide. Magnolia is a very ancient flower. In fact, it's so old that it was actually pollinated by beetles back in the day meaning a hundred million years ago. That's because bees hadn't yet evolved when magnolia first appeared. If you say you're a firm no to margarine and pick butter every time, remember that croissants can be made using both of these products. In France, they make it easier to understand which is made from which. Croissants made with butter are fashioned in a straight shape, while those with margarine are made curved. You can be fined $200 if you water your greenery too much in Singapore. No, that's not plant lives they care about. It's humans. If you soak your plants with too much water, it'll pool under their pots and attract mosquitoes, who'd be nice pets, not really, if they didn't bite and carry dangerous dengue fever. Those who deal in cooking know that salt can be a heartless mistress. It can help your dish to a masterpiece award or turn it into a cinder-charred, smoldering defeat. But a rescue is just around the corner. For example, rice can easily suck the excess salt out of your soup. Place some in a cloth bag and let it soak in your soupy mess for a bit. Ta-da! I just saved you and your soup. You're welcome. Again. Ah, brain, you poor child of evolution. You often make us fall prey to facades and the halo effect is one of them. We often find attractive people kinder, smarter, and nicer, even if there's no direct proof of it. And this is quite the trap, which muddles our ability to see people or situations clearly and rationally. As a result, we might be wrong about someone's intentions or trust someone we shouldn't. While only female mosquitoes feed on human blood, both males and females produce that pesky buzzing sound that keeps you awake at night. Even though it sounds like an annoying song, those little flying monsters aren't actually singing in your ears. That's the sound of their wings fluttering at a speed of 250 beats per second. They can even communicate with each other via making sounds and composing mating duets. By the way, if you don't want mosquitoes curling up with you during the night, try cleaning your ears. Yep, mosquitoes enjoy the smelly parts of our bodies. While we're asleep, they're very sad because we cover our bodies with a cozy warm blanket, but our faces are always in view. And ears, being one of the dirtiest parts of the body, quickly become their target. 
we grew up believing that hot water fights germs better. In reality, there is no difference between high and low temperature water from the tap. Well, there is, but your water would have to be around 212 degrees Fahrenheit to start inflicting death on the bacteria, and you'd be suffering too. So let's stick to this idea. Wash your hands for a longer period of time, and I can't emphasize this enough, with soap instead of in hotter water. You wake up abruptly in the middle of the night, you were just falling off into the void. What is that about? Don't worry, scientists always have theories for things like this. They say it's just an archaic reflex. As you may know, our ancestors loved sleeping in trees. And while we've been nesting in cozy beds for quite some time, our brain is still on guard. And from time to time, it will still try to save you from falling off those high, but non-existent, trees. Sometimes airport staff can make you doubt their sanity and yours. Why else would they ask you to rub your hands on a piece of fabric? Hmm, maybe because you look suspicious. Or were just selected at random. Engineers built a library of dangerous chemical smells, like explosives, into a machine which can match samples like the fabric you just touched against them. If a smell from that fabric matches one of those chemicals, you're likely not getting on a plane today. We all know the infamous Titanic sank because it ran into an equally infamous iceberg, putting an end to a wonderful love story, even if it was only imagined by a certain director. But there is some freshly discovered evidence that screaming, there were fires and possibly an explosion, which caused the ship to sink. This could change history, but probably won't change Titanic's Oscar wins. Only about 1 in 25,000 people knows how to perform a magic trick, but you will soon become a member of that rare and illustrious group. Follow me. A famous street trick goes like this. A magician holds a plastic bottle or any other container in his hand. He shows everyone it's an ordinary empty bottle and gives it to an audience member to verify. The magician then asks for an audience member's phone. One, two, three, alakazam, and the phone magically passes through the wall of the bottle, ending up inside of it. Whoa, mind blown. No, no whoa, no mind blow. It's actually all about not-so-magical equipment and sleight of hand. The magician wears a special fingertip concealing a small but very sharp blade. After showing the audience the bottle is whole, he secretly makes a small cut big enough to push the phone through. Nope, no magic nor Hogwarts trickery here. Royals can't just accept any gift right away. First, they have to think through the motives of the giver. Do they want something in return? If there's the slightest chance of yes, they can't accept it. Nor can they reject it immediately either. What if rejecting this gesture offends the giver? Further complicating things, the British royal family can't accept anything that costs more than $150. Are they cyborgs with implanted price detectors? Do they use the force? Or are they just asking for the receipt? I know you dream of a guide on how to raise a perfect child. Well, being perfect myself, pfft, I can't even say it with a straight face. I don't have it. But I can share something backed by science. Load up your kiddos with chores. This will help them fare better in life later on because they'll know the importance of teamwork, hard work, time management, and problem-solving skills. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Oh my God, I hate this song. It happens to the best of us. A song claws its way into your brain and turns you into its Barbie world puppet. Even worse, the same part of the song repeats again and again and again while you cry and beg for this vicious spin cycle to stop. Yet relief never comes, except for me. My advice is to finish the song instead. Singing the last part will make your brain think the song is over and the spin cycle will come to a stop. When you have to discuss something very serious with anyone and expect the wagons to circle up defensively, Try sitting right next to your counterpart, rather than across from them. It'll make them feel like you're both on the same side, literally. Also, it feels really awkward to get mad and yell at someone who is sitting that close and next to you.